So what do you do if you've moved yourself and your family entirely across the world to a new country, to a new continent, and you don't love it? What do you do? <laughs> In this video, I'm going to help you walk through a few things and a few questions to ask yourself to understand if you really hate it or if you're just going through a season. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ashley. On my channel, Ashley in Africa, I talk about my experience of living and doing business here on the continent of Africa. I'm living currently in South Africa, Johannesburg to be exact, and this is my second country here on the continent of Africa. I lived in Tanzania before uh, for almost two and a half years and have been here in Johannesburg, South Africa for going on six years. And while I absolutely love South Africa, I transparently have been having some trouble adjusting to the winter. I was not expecting the winter weather that has left my skin very dry, my cuticles brittle, and me wearing a ton of clothes in the house because I'm just not used to this weather. I've been living in a tropical environment for the last two and a half years, and no matter how much research I did, I just wasn't prepared for the winter and the dryness that came with that, right? And so I'd say the last couple of weeks, I've been going through this experience of like, did I make a mistake? Should I have chosen somewhere else? But the reality is that when you're moving to a new place, you're going to go through a couple different seasons, a couple different experiences and seasons literally. And living someplace is nothing like visiting. I visited South Africa three times before I made the formal move and no one, absolutely no one could have prepared me for the the weather in Joburg, like the dryness, right? The, the fact that I can't wear my contacts as much as I'd like and that my body is just adjusting differently. But I needed to take some time to reflect and understand like, no, these are the things that happen when you're moving abroad. And um, a, a contemporary of mine, Rashida Dow, someone that I respect highly, who talks to black women about taking a sabbatical or traveling abroad and helping them to make a plan, did this video about what it means when you're going through your mind of, I hate it in this new place. And while I absolutely don't hate it, I'm adjusting and finding things a little bit different than I did on my discovery trip. Again, I'm just realizing that there are trade-offs and there are certain things that you just cannot prepare for, right? So if you are hating the place that you moved to, whether you moved with a family or by yourself, I want you to ask you yourself, do you really hate that place or are you just having a bad day? I'd like to say that when it was snowing, I think it was July, was it 10th? And it snowed in Joburg. I was having a bad day. It was cold, it was snowing. I realized that I did not send my children to school prepared for that weather. And I had to go get them early and I was just not having a good day. Again, I wasn't feeling like I hated it. I just wasn't feeling prepared. And on that day, I was seriously feeling like, I don't know, Joburg, this is a lot. But again, it was just a bad day, a day in time where again, you could see the sun is shining bright and it was one of those days, but you need to ask yourself those questions over time just to make sure that this is not something that is permanent, but it's just a day in time, right? The next thing, when you're wondering or feeling like you hate a place, do you really hate it or do you miss the things from back home? So I saw another video of my family, Asad and Adrian, and they shared of, you know, their experience of going back to New Orleans and having meals at a restaurant that they couldn't wait to order from and they just couldn't wait to have those things because those things weren't available in South Africa. And they remembered, they what they remembered was different than what they got. It didn't taste the same. Right. And I've had this experience, too, where I've returned back to my home country and was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna eat that. And when I got there, it didn't taste the same because I had now become accustomed to things that are different. And so ask yourself that. Do I really hate it here or am I just missing the things from that are back home? Right. And, you know, you have to ask yourself that question. 
The next thing is, do you hate it all the time or is this just a bad season for you to be here? So if you're following my journey, um, and if you've been following my journey for a long time, I lived in Tanzania and I was spending time in Tanzania and coming to South Africa. I knew that I wanted to move to South Africa, but I needed to establish some things, you know, here first, as well as discovery. And I also knew that I loved Tanzania and I also knew that I would be spending extensive time there. If you're seeing a lot of the content that I share, you see me talking about investing and doing business in Zanzibar as well. And so ironically, I've been setting myself up for the likelihood of living in both Tanzania and South Africa because I just enjoy and value so much about each country. And while the, se the, the, the winter season isn't for me, I love everything else about this country and have been setting myself up to really live in multiple countries during multiple times of the year. And so asking yourself, is this a season, whether it's an actual physical season or maybe there's an emotional season that's happening. Maybe there's something that's going on. Ask yourself that question and then ask yourself how you might be able to adapt to the season, right? So while I don't love the winters here in South Africa, specifically Joburg, I'm looking at alternatives and how I can spend two to three months in another country um, and how I can do that while still earning income and living a life of choice, All right? I mean, I love that for me. The next thing is when you say you hate your country, what do you actually hate about it? Have you asked yourself that question? Um, and then when you think about the thing that you hate, is there a way to fill the gap in for yourself, right? So hate is such a strong word, right? But I don't like the cold and I'm going to say that so many times. How can I fill that gap? Well, I can figure out how to spend time in another part of the world where it's not cold when it is cold in the country, in the city that I love. That's what I can do for me. What do you think you can do for you, right? Is it that same thing? That's weather. Um, you know, there may be so many other things that come up for you, but this is for you. I want you to ask yourself those questions and essentially I'm answering them with you um, because I felt really inspired to share this after hearing this video that Rashida did. The next thing is if you move down the block, right, to another neighborhood, would the problem go away? And transparently, when I first got to South Africa, I was considering other countries, excuse me, other cities here in the country, Durban and Cape Town. And I spent a lot of time in Cape Town so far, probably more Cape time in Cape Town now than I have in Durban. And I love Cape Town. Like I'm really considering Cape Town. And I feel like if I move down to Cape Town, I don't necessarily think I would be dealing with the cold dryness of Johannesburg. I might be dealing with some cold windiness and some rain, um, but definitely not snow, right? So that question for me really sparked a light because I said, okay, well, if this is an issue again, maybe I spend time in Cape Town um, during those these harsher winter months or winter weekends um, because I love this country. I love the country of South Africa. I love the freedom. I love the culture. I love the people. I love the air. I love everything about it, right? But I do not enjoy the winter. That is for sure. And the last question is, if you're living in a country and you feel like you hate it, have you identified another place, another country, another city, that doesn't have the thing that you hate have you you know and i think when you're doing this life when you're living abroad and you're experiencing life outside of your home country you obviously you probably should be thinking and having multiple options right and if you don't that that's totally okay um but i think you know it's okay to have other options. It's okay to have um, an interest in discovering other places, especially after you've taken that initial leap out of your home country. The first time is the easiest, is the hardest, right? That first move is the hardest move. After that first move, you can pretty much do it, right? Again and again and again, um, depending on your situation, it might be, um, 
unaffordable or it might not make sense, if, but ultimately having other options and other alternatives when you move abroad, when you move out to another country is, is good and it's okay. Um, but that bonus thing at the end that Rashida said that was really impactful that I thought about was, you know, if you're really hating the place that you're living and you think about going home and a lot of people do struggle when they leave the U.S. Um, and they move to the continent because there are so many conveniences that exist in the U.S. And there's so many comforts despite all of the struggles, despite the racial segregation, the challenges, the racism, the police brutality. You know, people sometimes still do choose to move back to their home country and that's okay. Oftentimes that's the easier choice and the easier choice is okay, but it's a choice that you make for yourself. And so for me, I'm definitely not returning back to the US while I miss my central heat and air, especially on cold days like today in Joburg, but I'll take Joe, I'll take the cold over mass shootings. I'll take the cold over genetically produced lab meat I'll take the cold knowing my children can go to school and, and be safe and be educated on African history, African geography, African language. I'll take it, you know? And so I understand that this move can be hard for many people. And listen, it's not always easy for me. I just choose to share the positives the, because the reality is you're going to have challenges and your experience isn't going to be my experience. Um, even when I was in Tanzania, I had challenges that I didn't necessarily talk about because they were things that I could get through. The things that I probably couldn't stand was the mosquitoes. Like those mosquitoes drove me nuts, right? But there was those, that was an overcomable obstacle, an overcomable, if that's even a word, um, challenge that wasn't going to change my desire to live there and ultimately doesn't change my desire to return. But you have to think about those things for you. And if you hate the place that you've returned to, understand, is this a season? Understand if there are some changes that you can fill and those gaps that you're missing, or are you really missing the comforts of home? Um, you know, understand if you really, really hate that thing, or is it a bad day? When you know these things, you can make an informed decision that isn't emotional and in the moment. And we take huge risks moving abroad as Americans, uh, moving abroad as Africans to other countries, right? We take huge risks. And it's really important that we understand in those moments of said despair that we're paying attention to our why and why we did this in the first place. And if we wouldn't trade it in for the bad times, keep pushing and keep moving forward because it's worth it. So I hope you found this valuable. If so, please be sure to like it, share it with someone else who would find value in it. And if you want to get updates from me, personal updates um, and free tools, guides and resources that I share with my community, please be sure to head to my website, ashleyinafrica.com.